Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. With your local lifestyle news update, I'm Bob Huggins. A former Scottish Commissioner for Children and Young People is to chair an inquiry into allegations of sex abuse in Northern Ireland care homes. She's Professor Kathleen Marshall and her appointment follows Health Minister Edwin Putz's decision to hold an inquiry in September. It followed the arrests of more than 30 people in a major investigation into the sexual exploitation of children and young people here. A television documentary about the disappeared had to be shown, according to relatives. Aired last night, the disappeared revealed the background to several of the victims and their subsequent murder and disappearance. The Independent Commission for the Location of Victims' Remains was set up to obtain information on where the bodies are buried. It says it's appealing for new information in a spirit of common human decency. A leading unionist peer says Northern Ireland needs its own flag. According to Lord Kilclooney, the region is the only part of the UK that doesn't have a local flag. The peer also says it's impractical to expect nationalist controlled councils to fly the union flag on designated days. And finally, a new children's show created by an award-winning Northern Ireland company is expected to be sold over 100 countries around the world. Driftwood Bay is produced by the Belfast-based 16 South. It will air from next spring and has already been sold to countries including the US, UK, Ireland, Australia, Norway and Sweden. Well, keep updated by logging on to Q Lifestyle or tune in to Q Radio. Good evening.